of the subject and you made some very uh, important points. I would just uh, recapitulate some of the points made by the two speakers. Uh, first is that the salience of nuclear weapons and security policies of different countries uh, is re emerging. They have been a trend, particularly during President Obama's time and uh, at the end of, after the end of the World War, uh, that countries were deliberately trying to reduce the salience of nuclear weapons in their security policies. But they are re emerging as uh, the tools which are being preferred. Uh, by countries that have nuclear weapons. Uh, the response to nuclear ban treaty uh, has been as uh, expected. The nuclear weapon states have not shown any interest at all. And the future prospects of any such treaty seem to be very bleak at the moment. Uh, the shift towards a more aggressive and war fighting type of strategies uh, is again very obvious and it is, this is clear from the uh, weapons of choice. The Russians have uh, gone back to the technical nuclear weapons and they have very clearly stated in their uh, latest doctrine that they are going to use nuclear weapons in response to a conventional attack against Russia. And similarly, the, uh, as, as I said earlier also, and there are reports suggesting that the U.S. is also going back to the uh, development of the miniaturized and small usable tactical nuclear weapons. The environment, as highlighted, is very unstable and volatile. And in this kind of environment, uh, any any incident or accident uh, can lead to a catastrophic. Uh, conflict which, which is not in the interest of any party board or uh, the regions themselves. South Asia unfortunately as pointed out by Dr. Iswar also, uh, there doesn't seem to be any uh, kind of effort on the part of the uh, friends of South Asia to use their influence on India to bring them back to the negotiating table and to dampen some of their inflammatory rhetoric. Uh, the incidents of uh, violations of line of control are on the rise. In fact, it's a daily routine now and uh, in which unfortunately innocent civilian lives are being lost and nobody seems to be concerned. And as Dr. Jaspal also pointed out, uh, the uh, claimed by India of a surgical strike along or across the line of control, which they have uh, unfortunately celebrated with great form uh, uh, after a year of, of that incident. Uh, nobody seems to have taken note or tried to dissuade India from, uh, to refrain from such kind of actions and rhetoric. The uh, threat of nuclear terrorism uh, remains there, but I think uh, this is an exaggerated threat. There are a lot of technical difficulties involved uh, in this, and this is mainly used by the established powers to draw meat countries like Pakistan, but uh, obviously this, this cannot be totally ruled out. The probability is low, but obviously consequences can be catastrophic. And the trends toward development of uh, the autonomous weapons, uh, which is now uh, catching the attention of people around the world, is going to be, uh, in fact, a very dangerous trend, and we have to be mindful of that. So now uh, the floor is open for the questions. Uh, Please be brief and to the point and ask pointed questions. Yes, please.